continuing episode 2 of building a base, base number 2, which is going to be actually now base number 1. If you are not following, please check out the last episode, info card will pop up. I still can't believe that the first like 14 seconds that I push record I start getting attacked, like what the fuck. That is unacceptable. We do need a bunch of resources to bring back to the other base. Alright, so we're back. We left off with this start of a build. I like it though, it, it looks really cozy. Lighten the load by crafting some ingots. Alright, here we are. So it's gonna be dark and dingy at first, that's okay. I will get over it. There we are. Oh, Jesus. So the first layer is going to have flat roof. And then the second layer I will figure out how to do the peaked roof. And we're going to make it a giant castle. We don't even need to, but maybe on the upper part I'll move the pal's base. And we will switch it instead of being a separate thing. It will be on top of my home. I honestly like that idea. That seems like a really good idea. Alright. Close up this end finally. Wonderful. We're level 20 as well. So we're just cranking out those levels. I want a window right there. I like the whole middle concepts. And see I left myself some room to expand back there if I really wanted to. Which I won't even need to look at it. It's beautiful. It's quaint. It's nice and quaint. So far, we are getting there. So when you go through, this will be the bedroom. Nice and small. You don't need such a big bedroom. You can always extend onto it. I'll even add a doorway to the end of the hallway. And make it look more castle-like. Um... Since we've done so much to the house, we are building on to more of the base. Oh, perfect. Where's that plantation? Let's put them right next to the berry plantation. Speaking of berries, don't mind if I do. Let's grab a bunch. Look at this thing. That is cool. Look at that, that's huge. And this is what it means to properly construct a base. Do they click in together or anything? No. Just kind of line it up. A little entryway to go mine that, of course. But we're going to continue the defensive wall through that direction too. All the way around. And we're going to try to keep it on the outskirts so we can build everything as closely as we can. See, we left ourselves some space. I might even build into that and close it off. So we come around to this little alcove. I like it. It's nice and cute, actually. There we are. Oh my god, we are way too heavy. That's okay. Building a base actually gets you quite a bit of uh, experience points. I just kind of want to get this and the lighting done in here. I don't even really care about the furniture yet. That might. We might end up having to do a part three. And there we have it. Our little home is nice, quaint, cute. I don't know why that won't stay ignit. We'll put a couple by the entryway. Which makes it look kind of like castle-like in my opinion. Make our house a little castle-ish gothic. Nice, he's gonna help me. Now honestly, what can I do? Oh yeah, I leveled up. So we don't even have crafting benches or anything because I don't even think I need it yet. So far I've just been good without it, personally. I'm all about building now. I really want to build stuff to make it like really cool. And like, we're not going to move the chest. We will if we replace it with this chest. Repair bench to build right on this side. Give myself some extra space here. Light up the base. So just place one every so often. If I put the breeding area right there. Can it work? Why won't it work? There we go. Put it as close to the plantation as possible. There we go. I figured it out. Let's create a defensive arm uh, alarm bell. We'll put it in between here, seeing as there's some space and it's, you know, nice and cozy. Our gear can go right there. I still can do the primitive workbench. Let's put that on. Let's get that facing this way so I can sandwich more stuff in between. 
organization is key to building a base. Actually, I can craft the mill. Look at it, nice and tightly put there. Beautiful. And I know I'm placing all of the defensive walls randomly, but I'm like forming the image in my mind for myself so that it fits together very nicely. As you can see, it like I would like to encompass some of the material as well as realistically i don't mind having openings if i just set up traps we are still getting ahead in some ways i actually really like what i've created here it is beautiful and it is safe and secure it is amazing you're still working on those ingots buddy oh my god Alrighty, now we got enough to build the medieval medicine workbench We'll place that right beside the repair bench. Beautiful. And yay, I can get back the wheat. They keep stealing it. They keep stealing my wheat. Raw berries are not a must for them. Let's craft an extra torch around this area. Yeah. Put the wood, or the, why is it, why did you put that? I'm sorry, but I'm having a fucking stroke right now. What happened to all my stone? I only got two chests. I must have used it all. So like last episode, I checked in on the other base. Before we end this one, I think that is exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to come back with a haul. Now that this one I could sleep in. Let's go back and check on them real quick. I'm going to grab all my valuables this time. So in here, the valuables would be considered, I guess, all of it. It's not even that heavy. And then what, I'll leave the chest for now. We're not deleting this base quite yet. That will be when the other one is more finalized. All my coin, all the fiber, both those keys, and the cloth. Hey, stealing my wheat. I'm going to spend one last. I don't know why you're still up doing that. Is that necessary? Anyways, I'm gonna go sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay random.